Welcome back to a special live edition of Women Who Fight, recapping everything we just saw at Evolution, where Red completed her improbable run by defeating Rhea Ripley to win the Mae Young Classic. Yeah. Kit, I seem to remember you being pretty confident that Rhea Ripley was going to win the whole thing. <laughs> well, I also seem to remember you thinking Io Shirai was going to win it. Hmm. At least my predicted winner made it to the finals. Okay, okay, so we were both wrong. <laughs> okay, but let's talk about what this means for Red going forward. Okay. The May okay. Young Trophy's nice, but you have to assume the even bigger prize she earned tonight was a WWE contract. Well, yeah, more specifically an NXT contract. I wouldn't be surprised if we see an announcement regarding that very soon. Based on the success of previous winners, Kyrie Sane and Tony Storm, I don't think it's crazy to think that Red could capture championship gold in the very near future. <laughs> Whoa, take it easy there. She doesn't even have a deal yet as far as we know. And besides, didn't you learn your lesson on wrongly predicting the winner of the Mae Young Classic? I'm just saying Kyrie Sane won the NXT Women's Championship less than a year after winning the first May Young Classic. And then mm -hmm. Tony Storm won the NXT UK Women's Championship only a few months after she won last year's May Young. There is data to back this up. Okay, but just because it happened for those women yeah. doesn't mean it will happen for Red. Well, I think you're getting way ahead of yourself. Okay, uh, we'll revisit this at a later date and see if I was right. <laughs> Until then, let's get back to discussing an amazing show. I feel like I recognize you from somewhere. Calgary? Oh, I know. You look just like the woman in those TV commercials for IBS. I think it's that scrunched up, miserable face you're always making. I beat you in my first match ever, remember? Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. But congrats on winning that cute little trophy. Let me know if you ever want to step up and face some real competition. I just want to reiterate that we had no intention of signing you to NXT. Possibly ever. But thanks to your friend sticking her neck out for you, that's obviously changed. So I suggest you make the most of this opportunity. I will. Wait, so are you saying your buddy X-Pac never mentioned me? No, he did. Oh, okay. So at least you have his recommendation to go off of, too. I said he mentioned you. I didn't say it was good. Uh, I hate these things so much. Then why were you in such a hurry to get here? Because I hate being late slightly more than I hate awkward social obligations. I mean, if one more person says something dumb like, Look, it's red! On the red carpet! I'm going to strangle them. Um, red? Well, there goes my opening line. <laughs> she gets a little cranky when she's nervous. Anyway, I've been covering the WWE Hall of Fame for almost 15 years, and I've never seen anything like this. We've had individuals, tag teams, factions, families, but never a pair of best friends inducted together. This is truly a special night. It really is, Byron. But just because our in-ring careers are over doesn't mean we can't continue to give back to the business that gave so much to us. In fact, that's why I'd like to officially announce I'm available for commentary and hosting work. So, WWE, if you're looking to freshen things up around here, then you know where to find me. Are you trying to take my job? What? I'd never do that. Don't be so insecure, Byron. Okay. Well, that concludes one of the most interesting red carpet interviews of all time. Live TV, everyone. What was that? You're welcome for taking the heat off of you. And maybe I was auditioning for a gig. You don't want to stay involved in some way? No. When I said I was done, I meant it. Red. Trey. Velveteen. Congratulations. But just keep in mind. It's one thing to achieve your dreams, but you will never be the dream. Great to see you too. See? That's why I hate these things. You run into all sorts of people you have history with. That was super awkward. Yeah? Well, at least it didn't end with someone getting knocked out like back in the day. Hey! Where are you going? The show hasn't even started yet. I don't have anything to do, so I'm leaving. Seriously? You should stay. Y you never know what could happen, plus it at least gives the impression that you care. I do care. 
In fact, I care too much, which is why I can't take just sitting around doing nothing while everyone else gets opportunities. We're still relatively new here. I think you just need to give it more time. We've been in NXT for months and I've barely been on TV. And other than you, no one even knows who I am. It's like high school all over again, right down to having to ask permission to use the bathroom. Who makes you do that? Cassius Ono. Wait, is he just messing with me? See? Exactly like high school. Look, bathroom pranks aside, I think you're overreacting. Really? Watch this. Hey, Ricochet! Good luck with your match tonight. Oh, thanks, Troy. He almost got your name right. That's a start. If that doesn't prove my point, I've also asked just about everyone on the roster to be my partner for the Dusty Classic, and they all said no. Or worse, ignored me. Okay, fine. Maybe there's some truth to what you're saying, but I still believe it'll get better. Do you think anyone would catch on if you disguised yourself as a man so you could be my partner? <laughs> as much as I'd love to try to pull that off, I'm focused on beating Rhea Ripley to get a shot at the NXT Women's Championship. It's going to be tough since she still hasn't gotten over the fact that I beat her in the Mae Young Classic. But at least you have the Mae Young Classic win. It proved you belong here. My problem is everyone thinks I'm just riding your coattails. Well, you know what? From now on, I'm going to ride my own coattail. How do you plan on doing that? I need to do something big to get people's attention. Something that'll change the narrative. And I need to do it tonight. I like the fact that you're not just giving up and going home. But keep in mind, I put my reputation on the line by getting you hired here. So anything you do ultimately reflects back on me. I understand. But you have nothing to worry about. Hey, do you know where I could get some handcuffs on short notice? And now I'm worried. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and will determine the number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship! Wait a second, what's he doing out here? Before we get to that match, which my friend Red is gonna dominate, there's something I need to say. When I was signed to NXT, I was told to make the most of my opportunity. Well, so far, the only opportunity I've had is to sit in the back every week like some kind of glorified cheerleader watching everyone else do their thing while I ask myself over and over again why I'm not out here. Maybe it's because I'm not good enough in the ring or I don't have the right look or I rub someone the wrong way. Or maybe it's simply because my friend helped me get a job and no one can see me as anything other than a charity case. I could drive myself crazy trying to figure it out, but one thing's for sure. If I never get a chance to show what I'm capable of, how will anyone know if I deserve to be here or not? Luckily, there's a tournament coming up that has put countless NXT superstars on the map, the Dusty Classic. Only problem is, I've tried and tried to find a partner, and so far, all I've gotten is a bunch of no's, blank stares, and who the heck are you's? But there's one person I haven't asked yet. Someone who calls themselves the Dream. But they've never competed in the tournament named after the real Dream, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. So I'm not leaving this ring until Velveteen Dream comes out and agrees to be my partner. Wait, are, are those handcuffs? Are you kidding me? Get this idiot out of the ring. No wonder no one wants to be his partner. Uh, this is certainly an unconventional way of doing things. He called out Velveteen Dream, and thankfully, here he comes. Yeah, hopefully to put an end to this mess. So, are you going to be my partner? Because as you can see, I'm not going anywhere until I get a yes.
The dream always keeps a spare handcuff key on his person. You never know when you might need it. If you want the dream to be your partner, then you need to prove yourself by beating the dream in a match later tonight. You've got the dream's attention, but let's see if you can keep it. That was certainly unexpected, but Velveteen Dream has made a career out of defying expectations. Look, I don't care how weird that was. At least Velveteen got the moron out of the ring. Let's get back to the previously scheduled match. What the heck was all that? Me riding my own coattail. Well, maybe give me a heads up next time you're gonna hijack the show right before my match. You got this. Rhea answers with a decisive big kick. That looks like that rocked Red. Red counters with a super kick. Both women are down. Shoulders were on the mat when the ref counted three. Oh, I saw two. Can we get some kind of official ruling on this? So, who's the number one contender? Uh, I don't think we have one. Well, obviously, Rhea Ripley and Red both believe they won and deserve the title opportunity. So, I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens next. What else could go wrong tonight? Trey's setting up for a suplex, but Velveteen blocks it twice. <sighs> Velveteen Dream hits the neck breaker. Maybe you'll find a partner next year, pal. And now he's going to the top. This might put an end to Trey's hopes of competing in the Dusty Classic. Do it, Dream. Purple Rainmaker. Thankfully, this is all over. Come on, cover him. What's the hold up? Wait, what's Velveteen doing? No, no. He's telling the referee to count. Velveteen Dream is letting Trey win. You gotta be kidding me. What the heck is he thinking? Why would you do this? Maybe Velveteen wanted to be Trey's partner after all. Who knows with Velveteen, but that guess is as good as any. I can't believe it. This dream just turned into an absolute nightmare. Velveteen's confusing actions aside, you're looking at the newest team to enter the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Oh man, did you happen to catch NXT last week? I never miss it. I like to watch and say, yep, better than that guy. Oof, better than that loser. Way better than that turkey. Sounds like a fun way to watch the show. It is. But there is one guy there who is pretty awesome. Now, I can't remember his name though. Rhymes with Fanny. Looks like he's about uh, 17. Oh, you mean Manny. No, but that's close. Maybe it was Nanny or Granny. Nah, it'll come to me. Anyway, I wanted to ask what you thought about Trey hijacking the show and calling out Velveteen Dream. Kind of reminded me of when we invaded NXT a couple years back. Yeah, but when we did it, we had super cool costumes from my Uncle Don's costume shop in Syracuse, New York. <laughs> You're welcome, Uncle Don. Well, our little stunt in NXT kind of backfired with Triple H and Baron. But so far, it looks like it's working out for Trey because he ended up getting Velveteen to be his partner for the Dusty Classic. Crazy. That's it. That's definitely not it. Your thoughts on Trey? 
he's a loudmouth, and all he cares about is his look and doing whatever he can to entertain the crowd. Hey, how about you focus on winning a match, you turkey? Okay, I feel like you're trying to make turkey into a thing, but it's not really happening. That's exactly what a turkey would say. Ugh. Hey, I ran into Triple H earlier and assured him your stunt last week was just a one-time thing. You're lucky he thought it was good TV, or you might be out of a job. Triple H thought I was entertaining? That's great! That's not exactly what I would have gotten out of that statement. Nonetheless, I'm happy you found someone to team with for the Dusty Classic, even if it's Velveteen Dream. What do you mean, even if? I just don't think he's the most trustworthy partner. But hopefully I'm wrong. He's too set on proving he's the real Dream to pull anything on me. So don't worry, I'll be fine. But what about your big contract signing tonight? You have anything planned? Yeah. I'm gonna go out there and sign the contract. That's it? These things are all about playing mind games with your opponent to get an advantage in the match. Like, what if you brought your Mae Young Classic trophy to the ring with you? That would really get in Rhea's head. Okay. Since you seem to know about this sort of thing, I'll take your advice and bring the trophy out. Great. So, what did Triple H say about last week being good TV? Did he like my promo, or the handcuff move, or just everything overall? You should focus on your match. I let you win last week. Because the Dream thought about what you said. And I want to prove that I am the real Dream. That's all this is. You're just lucky to be along for the ride. Okay, fine. But now that we're partners, shouldn't we discuss strategy or something? Here's a strategy. Stay out of the dreams way. I heard what you said last week about wanting to prove you belong in NXT. I respect that. But it's not going to come at our expense. No, sir. Not our expense, Tucky. We came back to NXT for one reason. To win the Dusty Rhodes Classic. Back to win the whole enchilada! I actually watched your previous Dusty Classic matches to try to get an advantage, but there wasn't a lot to go on. You know, because you always lost in the first round. You went there, huh? You did go there. Sounds like he wants to fight! I'm just stating a fact. Then here's another one. Tonight, we're going to destroy you. That's right, Ducky, because we're coming! Pin, this could be it. And we have our winners. Here are your winners! Enormous victory right there. No wonder these guys won. You all have history with one another, but at NXT TakeOver, more history will be made when you'll compete in a triple threat match for Candice LeRae's NXT Women's Championship. Now, if you could each sign your names on the contract, we can make this match official. Before we sign anything, I want to ask what you're doing out here with that trophy. You think you're real cute, don't you? This thing? I actually bring it everywhere. The grocery store, the gym, car wash, contract signings. I even sleep with it sometimes. Helps remind me of how I won the Mae Young Classic on my very first try. But who did I beat in the finals? Huh. I can't remember. I don't have time for this. You might want to stick around for a preview of what I'm going to do at TakeOver. And thanks to Rhea Ripley, this contract signing has officially gone off the rails. I mean, when do they ever stay on the rails, Byron? Rhea Ripley's going on a rampage. And now Rhea's using the Mae Young Classic trophy as a weapon. Well, that's what Red gets for bringing it out here. It looks like Red has some kind of eye injury. No one deserves that, Corey. I don't give a damn about that. This is what I want. I'm so sorry. This is my fault. 
Rhea Ripley made a statement tonight. She will destroy anything in her path to capture the NXT Women's Championship. Dream Valley Driver. We all know what's next. Did Trey just tag himself in? What is he thinking? Trey with his version of the Purple Rainmaker. And it's all over. Trey and Velveteen advance to the finals of the Dusty Classic. Look at this clown celebrating like he accomplished something. He stole the win from Velveteen Dream. All that matters is they won and they're advancing. And look, Velveteen approves. Yeah, well, I don't. Takeover, where we have huge breaking news. Red has officially been cleared to compete for the NXT Women's Championship against Candice LeRae and Rhea Ripley, who brutally attacked Red just a few weeks ago. In addition to that enormous match, we also have the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, where Trey and Velveteen Dream will take on the Viking Raiders. Well, Byron, in all your excitement, you forgot to mention that since the Women's Championship match is back to a triple threat, that also means it'll be no disqualification which, if you ask me, only means trouble for Candace and Ren. Hey, I heard the good news. You were cleared. But, uh, you sure you're okay? I'm only sure of one thing. I'm going to annihilate Rhea Ripley. She almost took everything from me, but her mistake was she stopped at almost. Tonight, I won't stop. At least your match is no DQ. That way you can take care of Rhea and still win the title, so that's good. Ooh. I'd say it's very good. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yes, the dream's reflection is beautiful. Right. Well, that trophy could be ours, but I was thinking we still don't feel like a real team. And a big part of that is because we don't have matching outfits like all the great tag teams throughout history. So, I went and had these made. I hope you like them. I love them. Setting up, and she gets driven to the mat. Here's the pin, title on the line. Could have been a career-ending injury to become the new NXT Women's Champion. We just witnessed one of the gutsiest performances in NXT history. I'll be the first to admit I was wrong about Red. This was no fluke tonight. She earned every ounce of the gold she now holds in her hands. And there you see Red crossing this achievement off her list. One of many significant things she may go on to cross off in her career. A truly inspiring moment. For the first time since they started teaming, Trey and Velveteen Dream make their entrance together. Uh, and they've got brand new matching gear. Looking good. Maybe they've turned a corner as far as their team chemistry goes. It's one thing to wear the same gear as your partner, but the real test is going to be in the ring. If these two aren't on the same page when it really matters, the Viking Raiders are going to slaughter them. Look at Trey's moves. He's clearly been studying Velveteen's entrances. Well, that time would have been better spent watching film on the Viking Raiders. But what's new? This guy's priorities have been out of whack since day one. To be fair, Corey, Velveteen Dream is known for his eccentric entrances, but always delivers when the bell rings. So why can't Trey do the same thing? Well, that's easy. He doesn't have the same level of natural talent that Velveteen has. And besides, look at this guy. 
He looks like a goof out here trying to do Velveteen's mannerisms. If you're gonna put that much effort into your entrance, at least get your own style. Uh, he's just trying to be a good teammate. It's all in good fun. Well, if this is your idea of fun, then that explains a lot. Nonetheless, these two have had an unexpected and impressive run to make it here to the finals. It kind of reminds me of last year when Ricochet and Aleister Black were a somewhat unlikely pairing, and they went on to win the entire tournament. We could see a similar outcome tonight. Uh, highly unlikely. The Viking Raiders have teamed thousands of times all over the world while Trey and Velveteen barely know each other. You can't overstate that kind of advantage. I, I hear you, but look at these synchronized moves. I'm telling you, these two are ready. essentially sacrifice Trey to their opponents. He has no chance. It's over. Well, face it, guys. The better team won just like I thought they would. Maybe we're going to get an explanation from Velveteen Dream. This is on you, partner. You called the Dream out, and you questioned the Dream's authenticity. But the Dream never needed some repulsive trophy for validation. The Dream already knew that there was only one Dream, and that is the Velveteen Dream. At one point, I considered letting you win this thing because the Dream felt sorry for your desperate need for success. But then, you repeatedly stole the Dream's spotlight, leeching off the Dream's moves, the Dream's look, and anything else you can get your hands on. But it's like the saying goes, imitation is the sincerest form of battery. Oh no, uh, are those handcuffs? Trey to the ropes, just like how this all started. This is getting ugly. The man's helpless. We need someone to put an end to this right now. Well, I'm by no means advocating what's happening, but you have to admit, Trey brought this upon himself. The moment he mentioned Velveteen Dream's name, he was asking for trouble. Uh, pardon me, Red, Trey, you both have huge matches tonight. Do you have a second to comment? No. Yeah, we do. So Candice LeRae has invoked her rematch clause in an Iron Woman match. Now, after everything you've been through, are you ready for your first NXT women's title defense? Well, considering I'll actually be able to see this time, I think I'm more than ready. Trey, you are going to face Velveteen Dream in the first ever No DQ Spotlight match, where in order to win, you must steal your opponent's finishing move. Now, how have you prepared for this unique stipulation? I haven't had to. I've used his purple Rainmaker before, but he's never used my finisher. And on top of that, I might have another trick or two up my sleeve, because you never know when you might need it.
I might have taken you lightly in our last match because you were injured. But I won't make that mistake tonight. If I was able to beat two opponents with only one good eye, what do you think is going to happen when I only have one opponent and my vision back? I think you'll be able to get a real good look at me standing over you with a title back where it belongs. Welcome back to another edition of Women Who Fight with MMA Authority. Hey. Kit Lasko and yours truly, the pro wrestling prognosticator, Robin Ray. Are you really calling yourself that now? Uh Uh-huh. Because that's what I do. I prognosticate. You correctly predicted that Red would hold a title within a year of winning the Mae Young Classic, Mm -hmm. and now for the last month, you haven't stopped bragging about Mm -hmm. it. It's really not a good look. Whatever. (laughs) Oh, but I guess you need to get your bragging in while you can before Red loses her championship back to Candice LeRae in their singles match. Uh, And what makes you so sure that's going to happen? Because Red's had that brutal eye injury and there's no way she's been able to train consistently. Maybe she could overcome that in a normal match, but not in an Iron Woman match where stamina means everything. Oh, since when are you an expert on stamina? (laughs) <laughs> you get winded going up my podcast studio stairs. You mean your parents' basement stairs? <laughs> which happen to be very steep. Wow. And sure. I'm an expert because I cover MMA. Okay, so I know a lot more than you do about how a fighter's cardio and training can affect the outcome of the fight. Fine, fair enough. And speaking of MMA, I have to mention the article you just wrote about how MMA star Brooklyn Von Braun and Red actually went to high school together. That is such a crazy story. Dude, I know. <laughs> yeah. Brooklyn only had limited time to talk to me because of her busy schedule, but she had some very interesting things to say about Red and her friend, Trey. I'll leave it at that. Well, I won't, because at one point, Brooklyn claimed Red used to change in private after gym class because she had three butt cheeks. Mm -hmm. You gotta read the article, people. Gotta read it. (laughs) It's crazy. (laughs) Sweet fanny pack. Thanks. I was kidding. Anyway, what were you talking about having a trick up your sleeve? Well, actually, it's more like a trick down my pants. That sounds incredibly creepy. Yeah, I hear it now. Uh, Let me give you a sneak peek. Still creepy. Okay, I should rephrase. One of my tricks is I'm going to wear a special outfit to get in Velveteen's head like he does to his opponents. There's three options I'm considering. Which one should I go with? Thanks for your help with that. I'm going to need every little advantage I can get to defeat him. Look, it's Velveteen Trey. He's even got a fanny pack. We've seen Velveteen Dream wear unique outfits in an effort to get inside his opponent's heads. And now it appears Trey has borrowed a page from Velveteen's playbook. Uh, so what else is new? He's been stealing from Velveteen's playbook for the last month. That's how they ended up here tonight. It's a nice touch, but I think Trey is going to need to do a whole lot more to rattle Velveteen. I don't know about that. He looks like he might be rattled right now. I'd chalk that up to pure annoyance more than anything else. How can you tell the difference? After years of putting up with you, I'm pretty much an expert on the subject. Well, the time for psychological warfare is over. Let's find out who will prevail in this unprecedented first ever spotlight match. Where's Velveteen going? Oh no. Are those handcuffs? Not again. It appears we're going to have a repeat of what happened after the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Final. Guys, keep in mind this match is no disqualification. So this is perfectly legal. It might be legal, but it's clear Velveteen Dream's priority isn't winning the match. It's injuring Trey, possibly even ending his career. Hey, this is the match Trey signed up for. He wanted the spotlight. Well, now he's got it. 
Wait a minute, what's Trey doing? He had a key hidden in his tights. He's unlocking the handcuffs and Velveteen Dream has no idea. This goes back to their very first encounter when Trey handcuffed himself to the ropes and Velveteen had a key. Somehow, Trey actually learned something. Velveteen still has no clue that Trey is free. Velveteen Dream. I never thought I'd see that happen. And now Trey with the steel chair. This is a huge turning point in this match. Trey has now gained complete control over Velveteen Dream. And now Trey and Velveteen Dream are brawling at ringside. What's Trey doing with that fanny pack? And Trey nails Velveteen Dream with it. Velveteen's out cold. What, what the heck was inside that thing? There's your answer. Real honorable, Trey. Well, you said it yourself. This match is no disqualification, so that was perfectly legal. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Trying to go for it again. A couple of months ago, Trey hijacked an NXT broadcast desperate for the spotlight. Well, after this huge victory over Velveteen Dream, he's now earned it. I don't think it was his plan from the beginning, but it certainly worked out in his favor. Velveteen's dream isn't ready to concede the spotlight just yet. He's got that loaded fanny pack that Trey used earlier. What are we witnessing? Is this some kind of strange sign of respect from Velveteen Dream? It's almost like he's putting the championship around the Trey's waist. That was certainly bizarre, but nonetheless a huge win for Trey tonight. That was impressive, Michael. And you can put your singles back to the bus. I imagine it's going to take days to recover from this incredibly taxing Iron Man match.